Okay, we have successfully installed the CUDA. So but with the instruction or the installation guide uh, for Microsoft Windows running, so let's just run, uh, verify our uh, installation has, uh, has been successfully completed. So you do actually have a 2.5 here called verify the installation. So click on to that and um, it has the run the compiled example for you to actually test it out. So with that, let's just run our CMD and follow with the guide here, which says NVCC dash capital V in the command prompt. Um, right. And just run it. Okay. And what does it say? Copyright build. Okay. So this is what it pops up. And um, well, it says that it, this assumes that you have used the correct default installation structure. If it's installed correctly, this is what you should get. Um, okay, it's optional. Start the installer. So I need to close that off. Uh, Visual Studio Installer. Yes. Okay, so I need to modify this. And I need to go to individual components and I need to look for the Visual Studio. And again, error. 15063 this all right so let's modify that okay i need to close this and retry okay so now it's done let's launch this and try it out Okay, let's run our device query again. Okay, let's see if we can build this. That looks promising. Oh, since you can't find it this way, so device query dot exe. Okay, where exactly are you? So we'll open the file location. It's parked under bin 64 debug. Okay, all right, so let's just run this. What do we get? Okay, so we get an open and close screen. Wonderful. All right, so let's close these. I think we need to open up the CMD. Um, yeah, there's no shortcut apparently, so let's do it this way. CMD, so all right, so let's just run this device query. Okay, finally, oh my gosh, this is uh, quite a quite a journey to get here. So let's bring back the CUDA documentation. This is what it's saying. Um, if it runs successfully, the output should look similar to this. So let's have a look at what we have. All right, we have the GTX 1066 gigabyte, 9.1 is in store, capability 6.1, memory, core processor, clock speed, me memory. Okay, so it looks like these basic things are running okay supports multi-device corp supports device default okay 